Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am very excited to be unboxing the Allure Beauty Box for May of 2024. Now if you're unfamiliar with the Allure Beauty Box, it is a monthly beauty subscription where each month you get six or more products that are hand picked by the Allure editors and they're supposed to be some of the best in beauty products that Allure tests. The box itself is $25 a month, though if you do sign up annually, it does make it cheaper. I think it's somewhere like $21 a month if you sign up annually. So I finally went ahead after last month's box and upgraded to annual because I've been subscribed to them for like over a year. I'm like, wow, I could have saved a lot of money. So I do pay for this box with my own money. And with the products that you get in the box, they're supposed to be valued at over $100. And when I did say you get six plus products, let me clarify, they're not necessarily six full size products, though you do get a couple full size products in this box. Some of them will also be deluxe or sample size products. And they do have free shipping in the US for this box. With that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina and on my channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes. So if you like subscription boxes, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed and let's dive in. I am so happy that you're here hanging out with me today unboxing the Allure Beauty Box for May. Now the April box was incredible because we got full size Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. June, meaning next month, I believe there's also a choice because I made the choice um, for that product the other day. I don't think there was a choice product for this month. So sometimes there is a choice. It's not every month, so you need to pay attention to your emails. It's also not the most intuitive. You have to click a lot of times to get in to make the choice. but. I'm excited to get into bo the box today. When you open it up, that's what it looks like. There is a little pamphlet on top and it does say Happy Mother's Day. So I'm guessing this is like a Mother's Day, I don't wanna say themed box because I don't feel like these boxes are too themed, but I guess it'll be focused on like Mother's Day-ish or things that mothers would like, I don't know. So the first thing I'm pulling out is a full size product from LMS and this is their Peptide for eye recovery cream. This retails for $50 for 15 milliliters. Mumu's here for the unboxing as usual. Um, it's very exciting for her. She loves <laughs> her eyes. Uh, she loves subscription boxes too, clearly. Um, so yeah, it's a little Elemis eye cream. I do like Elemis skincare. Um, and yeah, a nice eye cream. I do need a new eye cream, so I'm excited for this one. I feel like I've gotten this before, but I don't remember if I have actually tried this eye cream before, because I've gotten, I get so many products that I can't always try them, so I don't remember if this one is one of the ones that I've tried before, but very excited. This is a nice full-size product to get in the box. Of course, not as maybe as exciting as Charlotte Tilbury, but I'll take it. All right, up next we have a brand that I have not heard of before, I don't think. This is the Crisp Appleton and Colorwell Money Mask. Okay, this retails for $45 for 215 milliliters. You get a 50 milliliter one in the box, so this is not the full size. Um, it's like a fourth-ish. Um, so what does this do? It give, creates super shiny signature glass hair for celebrities like J.Lo, Kim Kardashian, Ariana Grande. Um, after shampooing, you put a small amount of golf ball size amount from roots to ends and rinse out after five minutes. I do love a five minute mask. I will say that like, if you have dark hair, I feel like the glassy look looks nicer than if it does on, I don't know, sometimes with blonde hair, the glassy look can look like you did not wash your hair. I will say, this is sealed so I can't like, it's not open. It smells like sexy fruity. It smells really good. I am very excited. I, I may I may give it a try. It makes me a little nervous. I don't know if I would use a golf ball size for my hair. I might, might use a little bit less just to see how it goes. But I love a hair mask. And even though this is not the full size product, I do feel like this is a decent size for a hair mask. Obviously, if you have a lot of hair, if you have long hair, then um, you wouldn't. I mean, this could be like two to three uses maybe for my hair. I don't know. We'll see. All right, up next, we have a product from Bloom Effects, and this is their Lip and Cheek Balm. Um, it retails for $29 for 13 milliliters, so this is the full size. And I got in the shade Crispa Coral, which it does show the Crispa Coral in the pamphlet, so I'm assuming everybody may have gotten that one. So you can use this as a liquid blush, or you can use it on your lips. I am more likely to use this on my lips because I don't really like... Um, 
liquid products on my face. Um, I really do like Bloom Effects. They're like, all their stuff is made from like tulip products or they use like some of the tulip stuff to make their products. It's very cool. And you can do it on your cheeks and your lips to kind of have a monochromatic look. I am gonna open this because I do wanna see like what the shade looks like on the skin. Okay, so that is what it looks like. I don't know why it smells minty without being minty. That's really pretty for lips. It could be really pretty for cheeks too. It's just not so much my vibe for cheeks. The only thing I will say is I don't love, like for a lip product, you have to use your fingers. I wish maybe it had a nicer applicator. Even for cheeks, it'd be nice if it had like a, a different applicator for that. But it is a really pretty shade and I really like the sheen to it. Like that just would be really pretty and glossy on the lips. So yeah. Very excited for this. All right, up next we have something from Mud Masky, and this is their Midnight Hand Mask. Um, I'm actually excited for this. Y'all know, like, I'm not a big fan of like, I just don't like Mud Masky's packaging. I know that that's not the product, and that their products can be really great, but I just feel like typically for their price point, which, um, by the way. This is $55 <laughs> um, and it's 40 milliliters. Like that's expensive for this. And for me, for that type of expensive product, I would expect what I would consider more aesthetic packaging, but I love a hand mask I put, or a hand um, balm. And I definitely use them over overnight, like a hand cream. And so this is really exciting for me. Um, and yeah, so it's just a little hand mask. It is sealed. I don't smell anything. If so, it's like a like kind of like a baby cream type of smell um or maybe slightly floral but I guess it says to wake up with velvety soft renewed hands so you just massage a small amount before bedtime um so yeah I'm really excited for that that's definitely a pricey product and is one I will definitely be using up next we have something from Natura Ecos and this is their Takuma Exfoliating Shower Gel. This is $18 for 185 milliliters. We get 30 milliliters in the box, so like about a sixth, I guess. Um, I'm curious, what does it smell like? Does it smell? Okay, it is also sealed, so I'm not gonna open it up. Oh, I'm getting like fruity, fruity, baby powder vacation i that's not even my scent notes y'all are amazing that's what i'm getting it actually smells really really nice i don't feel like i use a lot of exfoliating body wash or shower gels but this one does look really cute this could be fun for vacation or just fun to try and it does actually smell very very nice so that's cool um i did also get like a hello fresh coupon and a wine voucher situation sometimes you get those in the box i feel like that you get them every month and i never use them <laughs> okay and Last but not least, we get something from Wilhelm Perfumery, um, and this is their Poets of Berlin perfume. So it is $175 for 50 milliliters. There's five milliliters included in the box. I'm very curious about this. Now I will say, I don't know how full it is, but this is a good sample size of perfume, and it does have a spray bottle, which I care about. I don't like the dunk ones. Ooh. What does this say here? So it says that this perfume proves vanilla doesn't have to be so vanilla. Um, the scent of this has the warmth and comfort of vanilla fragrance for sure, but with a crisply sweet kick from lemon and blueberry. Oris and sandalwood keep the overall effect grounding. Grounding, oh my gosh. Okay, let's, I'm gonna spray, I don't wanna spray it on me because I get sensitive to fragrance, but I am gonna just spray it into the box. My aim sucks with these things, so I did end up getting it a little bit on my hand, so. Oh, I did not like that whiff. Um, wait a second. <laughs> I need a minute for it to settle because I like the way the area is smelling right now, but when I smelled it on my hand, I did not like it. So let's see. Okay, I like the way it smells in the box better than it does on my hand. So I just don't know if I like the way that this fragrance reacts with my skin pH or whatever. Whatever, I don't know how that fragrance works, but I know that on different skins or on different people, it can smell slightly different. On my hand, it's smelling a little bit more like nature botanical, but in the box, I'm getting a little bit more of the sweet light notes. I don't dislike it. I don't know how much I'd wear it, <laughs> if I'm honest. I don't, it's not, that's not my go-to fragrance. I, I don't tend to go for like the vanilla-y scents, but it is nice. I'll be honest, I don't know if it reminds me of Berlin in any sort of way, <laughs> but it, it does smell nice. 
And I do like getting perfume samples in boxes because like I wouldn't have wanted to spend $175 on that, but this way you can kind of test it out and see how it works for you. Like I said, it smells a little bit different on my skin than it does in the box. And so I do, it does have a light fruity scent, which I am here for. Okay. This Allure Beauty Box, and that was everything in it, I feel like had a very good variety, like super good variety of products this month. Allure does tend to be skincare, hair care heavy, and you don't always get as much makeup in this one because like this month we only got this for makeup, but it is a two-in-one. Um, and there was only, there were three sample size and three full size products and the full size products had some good value. And even I would say two, to me, two of these sample size products are actually a pretty good size. Like the mask one is pretty good. The perfume is a pretty good, like this will last you a long time. Um, if you use it, like if you don't just like, you know what I mean? Which I, this is a, I don't want to say it's a strong fragrance, but I don't think it's one where you want to, you know, um, I actually feel like I will use pretty much everything in this month's box, which is not typical for me, but I actually do really like everything. I don't know how much I'll wear perfume, but I just don't really wear perfume in general, so that has nothing to do with that. But I, I mean, we got body wash, hand mask, hair mask, eye cream, perfume, like lip and cheek bump. Like I, that's a really good variety in my opinion. So I'm happy with this box. Maybe not as exciting as last month's box, but I still think that it's a very good Allure Beauty box. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of the Allure Beauty box for May? Do you like the variety? Do you like it the way that I like it? Do you not like it? Um, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I will leave a link down below in case you're interested in signing up. If you like the video, definitely make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.